Hey everybody, it's Sam at Mix.Craft. Thank you for watching my tutorial today. I'm going to be showing you how to make these really easy magnetic bookmarks. So the inspiration for these actually came from one my mum made. So this is my mum's and you open it up and she's concealed two magnets at the bottom here. So it sticks together. It's really nice and strong. She uses really pretty paper and then she's put a hole punch through the top because it's actually one big piece of paper. If you see there, in fact, if I open it up, you can see what she's done and just fed through the ribbon and just made this really pretty tag, which is actually for her friend. So I thought, oh, I'm gonna give them a go because I really like that idea. So I've changed mine slightly and what I've done is I've actually got these magnetic sheets, which are very, very flimsy and they're perfect for a bookmark. So the whole piece of mine is a bookmark. So you've got the inspiration to do that way, just with the actual small magnetic magnet itself. Or if you do have these sheets, then you can do this way as well. So these ones here, I've used the new Christmas Paper Addicts papers that I've received. So we've got the Wild Winter. So I've done this one here. We've then got the Christmas Bell, which is this one here. I've then done Magical Stories, which is the Nutcracker, and I used one of the pipe cleaners. I'll show you those in a moment. I just thought they complemented it really well, and then you can easily kind of pull it out if you want to. And then for this one here, I've used Festive Folly, and I've just fussy cut all of those hot chocolate drinks, which I thought was really sweet. Okay, so for the one I'm going to make now, and I'm also going to do another one in a minute, I'm going to use Cozy Christmas. So I've already selected the papers, and I'm using this sheet here. So I fussy cut one of the With Love Hearts, and then I'm going to use this paper to cover my magnet. And then on one of the other sheets, you get all of these little images. So I've just fussy cut those little Christmas parcels. So I'm going to do a nice little display on the top. So the, okay, so these sheets come like this. Well, I, they actually come in A4. These are the 0.05 mil. I'll link them below. I actually bought these by mistake. They're just way too flimsy for my dies. So I thought, oh, they'd work really well for these magnets. So you wanna have the two magnetic sides together. So if I fold that in half, it just snaps together. So I have cut these pieces here. Now you can cut them whatever size you want. I, I, I actually decided to cut these ones just because of some scrap um, magnetic sheet I had before I cut into that one. So these pieces here are two by four and one eighth, but four will be fine or four and a half. You can have them much longer if you want. But I'm gonna have the two shiny sides together, okay? So I want to add double-sided tape to each of these sides. So if you do it while they're together, then you won't get confused. And then we're gonna stick it onto this lovely paper in a moment. So this is the dot and dab. This is the one inch. It's brilliant and it's super sticky. So it's perfect for this project because we're sticking on this magnet. So I'm just lining it up and I can get away with two strips on each of these bits of magnet. So actually I'm just gonna take it apart just for this. If I turn it over then that, I'm, I'm actually doing it on the matte side so it's easy to actually remember because one's matte, one's shiny. So I'm just gonna cover the back of both of these matte pieces. Okay, and then as always, whenever I use red tape, just go over the back and just remove any air bubbles so it's nice and dark in color. That way you know that it's stuck well to the surface. Okay, and then I want this to be on the outside, so I'm gonna flip it over. I'm going to go right down to here, see if I can get two in here. Yeah, I will be able to. So what I've done, sticky side, oh, take the backing off of that one as well. Sticky side down and I'm going to go right up to the corner so I'm not wasting any cardstock. All the way along the side so I keep it nice and straight. And then stick that one down. And then again, I'm going to take the backing off of this one. And this one here you want to lay down and leave about one eighth of an inch, even a quarter of an inch will be okay, but you just want to have a little bit of a gap for us to be able to fold the little bookmark over. So I'm just going to go over that again, like so. Then if you want to cut this out roughly and then cut into it you can, but I'm just now going to cut right up alongside that magnet, so use that as my guide. Okay, and then I'm just going to fold that in half. I've got a little bit of, cut that away there, there we go. Fold that in half. It might not line up perfectly, it might push off to one side because it might resist against it a little bit, but once it's on the pages, that's fine. I've just got one of my watercolour books here and I'm just going to open that up just so you can see. And it's, it's really strong, I mean, it's not going to come off. 
but you can slide it around. That's why it's quite nice if you want to have a little handle on it, but you can see at the minute, obviously you wouldn't know that's there and that's fine. A lot of bookmarks are like that anyway. Not everybody likes things kind of on show, but if you then have, for example, the Nutcracker, put him in there, then you have, you see that sticking out the top. You can have, you know, initials and things like that, but I thought these ones look quite cute if I bring in this one here. And you get the top of the house showing out, showing up there. So, you know, play around with what you've got. And these look really nice as well, because you just see the tops of those sticking out. So, with this one here, I'm going to have the presents. So I'm just going to arrange them like that. So I'm just going to grab my liquid glue here. I'm going to do those two. If I put that up, no, I'd keep it that way. And then this one here, I'm just going to pop on a little bit of foam adhesive. You don't have to if you want it to be completely flat, but it's a little bit of dimension. And because it's squidgy, it's not going to, you know, cause too much trouble with the book closing. So I think I'm going to have it, do I want it overlapping? No, I'm going to bring it down just a little bit and have it just there. Okay, so I actually stuck that all upside down. So I just had to take it all off and redo it. But there we go. <laughs> so now you have your bookmark. Okay, so those are just decorated, but this one I wanted to try and see if it would work using my punch. So I'm gonna cut this so it's two and a half inches wide. Now I have noticed with this punch, you wanna cut just under whatever the measurement is. So if it's two and a half, just come slightly under and that way it will definitely fit in the track. You can see how easily it cuts and you can always cut it by hand as well. So now if I pop that in, yeah, see so that fits perfectly and let's see this punches it should do it's just like a thick card oh yeah perfect look at that so I'm gonna do I'm not gonna do yeah no do I want to do both yeah I'm gonna do both sides and then I'm gonna trim it so I'm gonna put this one in as well okay and then I want to cut this in half I'm just going to line it up and fold it you can see it's very easy to work with just want to make sure it will push itself away so you just need to just so I can get this cut like so so now I'm going to cut two more pieces to so two and a half and punch them and stick them over the top and then this time I'm going to put some ribbon through the top of that one just have a different effect and I've got I'm going to use the sleigh ride which is the other one and I think I'm going to use do I want to use that blue Okay, so just cut both of those pieces just under two and a half, and then again, I'm just going to feed this in. I'm going to get them all trimmed down and stuck on exactly the same way that I did the other ones. Okay, so that's that one done. So I've got my two sides, but what I would say is I would punch it after I'd stuck this on top because it would still be enough to go through because it was it was quite difficult. It was quite sticky. It's messed up my, I mean, they're old scissors anyway, but yeah, I would do that afterwards. But now I'm just going to pop, I think, one of these. I'm actually going to take this, this off the back because it's too bulky. And then pop those back together and I'm going to run this ribbon through the center. So, and then I've got this red baker's twine and I'm going to tie that off around the bottom. Okay, so there's that one. So I've just opened it up and again just show you. You can put a couple of pages in between there as well, but this is going to be obviously a bit more Wow, it's not really bulky, but it sticks out the top. I think it looks really cool. You use these all year round as well, so you just make them with different themes on them, nice little birthday ones, and uh, easy to make. So yeah, thanks mum for your inspiration. I'll just bring mum's up again there. So it's very feminine, very girly, and it's got the personalised little touch to it there as well. So yeah, there you have it. So I've got one for every pack of the Paper Addicts papers, the Christmas ones, and then there's uh, my mum's one as well.
So thanks for watching, hope you've liked it, hope you get some inspiration. Give me a thumbs up if you did and subscribe to my channel so you get to see more. Thanks for watching, bye.